Lord, I guess I'm going, Jesus. Is it going? Hey, y'all, what's going on? Let me see if it's going, Jesus. I can't see. It's recording. Okay. Hey, y'all, what's going on? So, I'm not on the screen, but honey, but yet I am in here. Today has been a festive-ass evening of TV watching, whether it be the old hoes and the new motherfucking hill hoes and the motherfucking thicker than water hoes looking a rotten motherfucking mess. I'm me watching, catching up with my folks that I watch, the Scorpion Show, Justin, baby. Mm -mm. You got me together today, honey. You had me on fire looking at that damn video on, uh, uh, what is that shit? World style hip hop's motherfucking ass. But anywho, we in here about that Atlanta hoes, and I'm sorry I'm not on. Let me just try to pull up some better scenery or something here. Well, that might not be better. That's about the damn, the damn child, which we going to talk about that shit because I want to beat his ass. I want to beat his ass, y'all. Let me go back. Y'all, I can't, I don't really like his new windows. Anywho, so let's get into it because we haven't talked about the holes in a while, honey. So let's just do today's and keep it moving. Today was festive as motherfucking hell, and I just need to, I want to just go ahead and read Miss Honey's man, because he had the nerve to go and pick Nene and Phaedra up just so he could read Phaedra and Candy and talk about how he was just laying with them and this and that and other and yada, yada, yada. The best shit that came out of that shit was the fact that what Phaedra was saying was so she did know Nene, yada, yada, yada. Nene, girl, your bubble was busted a little bit. Now, before we go into that shit, let's just go into some of this other shit. Apparently, Portia is moving out. She ain't got her new home. Now, Portia, baby, I just really need to have a talk with you putting. I know you're going through some things. But, girl, six bedrooms and you ain't getting but 5000 a month or whatever. And you said yourself that shit's going to be cut off. And let me also add that your little dogs was cute in the little outfits and shit. But, bitch, I'm going to need to bring you to reality. But, girl, you let me know that your motherfucking shit wasn't done on the episode when y'all was in Savannah talking about, well, it was a train, wasn't it? Girl, come the fuck on. And you looked a motherfucking fool. You didn't do nothing but let everybody know that the shit that uh, Wendy Williams said was so, girl, because you looked a motherfucking fool. That was disgraceful that you did not know. It was ridiculous. It really was. But anywho, on into this one. So, you and your mama's out shopping for dog shit to put on the dog and shit. And I'm sitting up right looking at it. And I'm like, the bitch is not going to, she going to spend money on the dog. But she ain't going to put none of her money into a new place. Well, you didn't spend your money on the dog. You had mama to pay 400 and something odd dollars for that dog. Which I'm not going to shave mama because she can treat her kids, her baby. Excuse me. How she wants to. Y'all had cabbage today. Y'all was legendary, honey. And I am reaping what I saw, honey, right now. Anywho, so she's in there shopping and shit and got the little clothes. And she let mama know that she done, you know, she's it's time for her to move out. Unbeknownst to mama, she done already found the place and shit already. But she's letting her know why she's dog shopping. And she's like, I know she would like to just dote on me and do all of this and yada 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 this is what mama likes to do or whatever now y'all for a minute i was kind of like you know there are limits but i had to check myself and be like ain't no motherfucker gonna tell me how i can do my motherfucking children so i'm not gonna shave mama i'm just gonna say mama is being a good mother the best mother she know how to be loving her daughter don't know her whatever so kudos to mama on that mama i will tell you one other thing honey you I'm not a bad looking woman, honey. You was killing it with your hair and your face and all that as usual. Anywho, so Portia got this damn place. So they go into the house and shit and they go in there and they, you know, it's six bedrooms. They bringing shit in. They went to the kitchen and shit. And mama, girl, now I do have to clean you on this one because I don't understand people that sit they ass up on top of countertops and shit that you cook on. That is unsanitary. And you not only set your ass up there, you laid your ass across that motherfucking counter 
coochie, titties, and all. Like, I'm not here for that, but we will move forward. Um, let's see. What else? So, the people's bringing the shit in. The sister's saying how she feel, yada, yada, yada. And you begin to say, well, you know, the money's kind of running out, but I'm trying to move back into the portion that I was. So, bitch, I guess you a bitch with a motherfucking plan. But I surely hope that motherfucker don't include being a black history historian. Okay? Because, bitch, you are late as hell when it comes to that. I will never forget that. Okay. So, then you go on to say that you called and they all looking and you like, I know they want to protect me, this and that and other. So, basically... What it boiled down to is you saying that y'all got to go in, give each other side, this and that and other. Now you wish you didn't call or whatever. Girl, I'm so motherfucking over you and mother, that mother goose that you was married to. I'm not going to be able to do it. Anywho. So, and y'all, if I sound like I'm breathing like a damn hoover, it's because my husband's sick with a cold, Brent's sick with one. And now I am getting it, so I'm a little stuffy. Okay, now let's backtrack because y'all know I be all over the place. And let me just say real quick, I'm sorry I'm not on the screen, but I figured it's better than not being on the video at all. But the next video, y'all will see me or whatever, but I just had to talk about this shit. Anywho, so now let's see where I want to go at. Um, don't want to go there. Okay, let's for a minute go ahead and go into candy shit and Mama Joyce. Mama Joyce, I can't with you. You at the motherfucking shop, you and Lawrence and the motherfucking monkey paws. Lawrence, I'm so sick of you throwing your ass in these liquid leggings and these motherfucking too short ass shoes. Oh, this oh girl, I can't. I, I'm I'm just not. I'm just not gonna do you, mother. Uh, a monkey paws. Did I call him Lawrence, y'all? No, I don't want to get him confused with Lawrence because Lawrence be giving way more than monkey paws be giving. Anywho, so he's in there whipping one of them Mama Joyce wigs together. Like, and I'm like, are you Carol and dirty motherfucking her? Like, y'all mouth on all the way off. Anywho, Candace comes in and meanwhile, me and my mama, we kind of watching it together and she said, ooh, Candy look a damn mess. Y'all, I got so tickled when she said that. Candy, whatever made you think? Okay, you got the red hair and then this red scarf. And I guess she was going to get your hair done. To, you, stop it. Just stop. Anywho, mama's talking about she went to the doctor. She didn't told you how hurt she was. She will never take nobody over you. And this is why I got to stop Mother Goose Joyce, honey. Because you did. You thought about yourself before your daughter. Whatever the fuck she gonna do, she's a grown-ass woman. And at the end of the motherfucking day, any bread, loaf, butter, yeast, or anything, she made it for herself. So, I'm gonna need you to back back. Then she went on and pissed me off because I was like, don't let this person. Don't let her say she's sick just to keep Candy from marrying that man. Because y'all, that's what I thought she was gonna do. And that would have been the cherry on top. You would have been one of the lowest ones that I have ran into, baby, had you have done that. But you pulled back and you said, for my own health, I'm just going to have to let this go. It's your life. You do what you want to do. It's like your child being in a train wreck and blah, blah, blah. Girl, oh, Lord. Candy, I'm trying not to lay your mama to, to rest, but she's just doing too much, honey. She's doing too much. I can't with her. Anywho. Candy's like, well, what the doctor saying? That's when she said all this shit. And Candy's like, you know, she's just being Candy, honey. Just trying to love her mama and do the best she can do and have her dick at the same time. That's all she's trying to do. Anywho, off of them, so they have that. That's all that stood out to me there. Um, Let's see. What else? Now, I'm okay, okay. The first part of the evening that ticked me the fuck off uh, is Cynthia's sister. Now, girl, first of all, let me read your ass dust. Now, and, 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 no, let me start with this. Yes, Peter's motherfucking ass is rotten. Yes, he's taking Cynthia's money. Uncle Ben been doing that. And, you know, all of this shit. But you will never bring your happy-go-lucky ass in town talking about you need to stay there for two months after all the shit that you and your mama did to her on the wedding or whatever. Whatever he do, that's the man that she chose. Back the fuck up. And and your man is supposed to be playing ball overseas, girl. You mean to tell me you can't get a three-month 
short lease an apartment to cut down on the shit. And not only did you pop in with that shit and Cynthia had to tell you, well, you know, I just can't sure as much as I had been and I thought I could and it ended up being used against me. Listen, I'm all about family, but your motherfucking sister is doing the most. And I'm not saying, sister, that you ain't wrong about Peter's ass. Because Uncle Ben's ass is ironing in a motherfucker. And Uncle Ben, I'm going to need to know how you buying new Mercedes and this and that and other on Bravo coin. You just new cars and this and that and other on Bravo coin because you know your damn functions and your places and this and that and other. From my understanding, they all seem to go under. So I'm trying to understand. Cynthia, with that being said, and you are my girl, honey, in a bag of motherfucking pearls. But bitch, I'm going to need you to be... On every motherfucking dollar. Because you know Uncle Ben will be out there spending this shit. And he'll be them put a trip for him and Apollo to go and have they lesbian love of first some motherfucking wear on you, bitch. You better know where your dollars is going, girl. Anywho. Okay. So, you like, um, last time you was here and y'all go and she sees it and sees Peter's car and she instantly is like, oh, bitch, that's none of your motherfucking business. You done popped in town talking about you gonna stay there and you like, oh, uh, bitch, count your coin. Where your motherfucking car at? Since you judging other people's husbands, where your motherfucking husband at, bitch? This what I wanna know. Anywho. So, <clears throat> Peter comes in and it's kind of like, hey, 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 you know. And Cynthia goes on to say, well, she's going to be staying here and she's going to be staying a couple of months and yada, yada, yada. And he's like, where? And she said, here. And he said, well, we didn't discuss that. And then the sister went on to say, but you said, y'all, you know, you saying we need to discuss these, but did you discuss this car? Whatever. Again, bitch, that's none of your motherfucking business. It's really not. Anywho, so... <sighs> Peter walks off. He's mad as hell. Cynthia's just kind of sitting there like, well, you know, it just was sprung on me. Cynthia, I'm sorry. Baby, I'm going to need you to get a backbone and tell your sister to get somewhere. Get some damn work. Fine. Get you a three-month lease or something, boo-boo. A one-bedroom apartment. So, and I, we can see each other and go out to lunch or whatever. But in my house... You staying for a couple of months? No, ma'am, me and my husband will be divorced. Not that it'll be a bad thing for you, Cynthia, but that is a man you love. Anywho, so he done walked off. He's laughing and shit. Okay. Now, and since I'm talking to them, they have a whole nother conversation. He didn't raise his voice. She's saying, you ain't got to talk to me like that. And everything you said, Cynthia, was sensible. But what you need to do is open up your motherfucking eyes and see this motherfucker for what he is. You need to hurry up and see that girl for you and your daughter being a motherfucking pole house. For real. He got big motherfucking ideas on a motherfucking dime. I can't. He needs to take his own money. And if he done ran through that, I'm sorry for you. Come up with something that's going to really bring us some money in, honey. Everything he seems to do, it it, it it boils down to you. And he's buying, you buying Mercedes and bitch, bitch, you don't make Mercedes money. What you do? Take your whole Bravo check from last season? Anywho. Well, I guess Apollo could have bought his honey something. I don't know, girl. It depends on how well you bumping pocketbooks with Apollo. He might be taking some of Phaedra's coin, you know. I don't know. Anywho. On to the next shit. Okay. On to the shit at hand. Now, it was an okay episode, but it wasn't that grand. Okay. So, on to the shit with the bitch who was there, who was Nene's friend. And y'all already know, on the last two episodes, she done got into it with Portia. Portia done called her bitch. Because she done said, well, honey, your man done dated two of them. Yada, yada, yada. You took your happy-go-lucky ass home. Ran to your husband. Hurry up and checked him about that. His motherfucking ass, being the motherfucking bitch that he is, went and decided that he wanted Nene and Phaedra to come because y'all was in the same town, yada, yada, yada. You gonna drive him around, get him something to eat and shit, take him to the boys club, you know, and let them play and eat and go to Dairy Martin, this and that and other. Then you get in the car, boo, and you have the nerve to start laying them down 
And when I say them, I do mean Phaedra and Candy. Why didn't you invite Candy? I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. You might as well have invited her, bitch, with what you said. That was going on TV. So everybody knows. So you might as well have had her there. You basically told Phaedra that we didn't have no relationship. We was just having sex. We was we was the very first friends with benefits. Now, this is where I need to pause right here because ain't nobody trying to hear that. Nigga, you was in that car like you was some motherfucking pimp and that was your bottom bitch and your new bitch and or your new hoes. Who the fuck you think you are? And Nene, let me check you. How dare you sit in that motherfucker with that bitch as he was saying some of the shit he was saying? You should have checked his ass because at a point looking on your face, you was kind of like, what the fuck is this nigga saying? But I guess you had made up in your mind as long as the bitch ain't saying it about me, honey. He's not checking my cuckoo. But you was in the car and he was checking another woman like that. I'm just saying. So... <sighs> Phaedra stood her ground and eventually he was like, well, I dated you and Cynthia at the same time, but you dated them. You told your wife and you sat there in the car and said that we were number friends with benefits. Bitch, you dated. You dated and you all but said, Phaedra, you wasn't nothing but a motherfucking high booty whore because you had called a high booty at, um, what was y'all at? Dairy Queen. Like, Really? Bitch, you'd have pulled that motherfucker over. And you'd have never been driving me no way. I'd have been like, pull this bitch over and let me get a ride. And I would have got your ass together. Who the fuck you think you are? And with that being said, bitch, I checked your motherfucking tees at the table and shit. But I'm going to leave that where it's at. Anywho. So... You sitting there and you done said Cynthia and you done really talked about Candy bad. You know, like you talked about Phaedra, but you really laid Candy's ass down. Like, who the fuck are you? I, I can't. And I guess your bitch supposed to be happy at home. You gonna go back and the bitch gonna be able to rewind and fast forward through at her leisure on how you check both of them bitches. And Nene, let me say this. It wasn't about you, but you sat in that car with this motherfucker who you claiming is your friend. He's fucked up. Because he could have never did that shit with me. Ever. Bitch, I don't give a fuck what you do. First of all, I'd have been in my own car and we'll meet you there. Y'all riding around with him and y'all am I wrong? But did Phaedra do an outfit change or some shit? Because when she went to the first restaurant and came in, they was kind of pinky, not pink, but like a plum color in the front or something. I don't know. Needless to motherfucking say, that bitch is ill. He is motherfucking ill. And I don't know who the fuck you think you are. And your motherfucking wife's a coward, bitch. You talking about you don't know how to read, bitch. You better get a motherfucking backbone. And you could have said what you had to say, though. You said a little bit to Portia, but really, girl? You went home, and of course you're going to go home and be like, I didn't know you dated so-and-so. But this motherfucker felt the need that motherfucker, let me just get back to you, bitch. Because really, you the person that I really need to be on. Because your bitch is ill motherfucking relevant in this shit. And like she already said, she's a household. She don't do, she, you know, she's screwing so many times a week, this and that and other. And with that being said, let me have a moment. Because who was talking? What was it? How did it go? Y'all don't know what I was watching, but somebody had the nerve to say that they sleep with their damn husband. No, it was Cynthia's sister. She's the one who said three and four times a day, bitch, sit your ass down, bitch. Come on. Now, you might be. You might be that dumb a bitch. I, I'm sorry. I don't know nobody's libido like that, but it could be. Mine's ain't that way, and I ain't going to shade you on that. But, bitch, you now already sat at home and said, you know, your man's ahead of this and this and that and other. And I know it might be some people to say, well, you just hating. What's wrong with the man being ahead or whatever? Okay, well, bitch, you keep on falling behind that nigga and see what the fuck you get. I'm saying, and, and I love mine and respect mine, too. But he would never put me in a position where I'm just, you know, I'm just fucking because... You know, I'm, uh, anywho, it's meant for both of y'all. I'm not even going to get into that shit. But... Who in the hell do you think you are, honey? Really? You had the nerve to drive them, and you two motherfuckers sat in that car while he did that 
Phaedra, girl, your motherfucking lips was everywhere. You looked a fool. And Nene, at a point I could see on your face, she was kind of like, this nigga really is trying it. That's when you should have been running your mouth because even if you and Phaedra ain't like that, just one woman to another because me, I, I ain't digging Phaedra like that, but I bet you this. As another woman, I'd have been like, girl, get your purse and your bag. Now, bitch, I ain't got to really like you like that, bitch, but I, I like you well enough not to hear you be talked about like some dog by this nigga driving. Nigga, please. You act like you was getting ready to take them to the motherfucking track and they was going to sell some coochie for your ass. Bitch, you ain't got but one motherfucking hoe. And that's that dumb bitch sitting at home waiting on you to come back so you can tell him what the fuck you said. So he can tell you what he said to them. Come on, backboneless bitch. You and that motherfucker. Both of you motherfuckers. Anywho. So, that's the just of it for me, y'all. I'm not digging that dude in no kind of way. I'm not digging Cynthia's sister. And, bitch, you got a whole lot of motherfucking nerve. How the fuck you gonna come, bitch, after the shit that happened last time? How you gonna come and say you just gonna show up? And I'm going to be here for two months. Bitch, if you don't get you a motherfucking apartment, I'll get you a damn hotel room, bitch. Okay. Anywho. Moving on along, y'all. That was the gist of it for me. I just That's what the hell I wanted to say about it. And let me just bounce back into some other, to two of the other episodes. Uh, Let me see. What was it? Lord Jesus, Cynthia, baby, let me just have a talk with you. And this is to anybody who will listen to this on this parenting. Yes, that's your baby or whatever. And this and that and other. Honey, she's too young to have a boyfriend. It is what it is. That don't mean you ain't going to be by your daughter's side, this and that and other. But there is an order to things. And this whole, I want to be best friends with my children shit. Me and my kids, men like we are now, didn't come until they was good and motherfucking grown. And with that being said, even now, it's a limit to what the fuck they gonna do around me and say around me. That's the motherfucking problem with these kids. You motherfuckers is running around trying to be their friends. Fuck being your friends. I'm your motherfucking provider, bitch, until you get motherfucking grown. And yes, I have lost my man right about now. Until you get grown. I'm dressing you, you doing this and that and other, and you, hell no, nah, boyfriend. Now, Nene. I was on the page with you. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> Candy, you need to sit your ass down before your daughter be telling you some shit. Girl, stop. Y'all letting these kids do too much too soon. Ooh, uh-uh. Phaedra, hit the nail on the head. When you got a son, you ain't got to worry about but one dingaling. When you got a daughter, you got to worry about all them motherfucking dingalings out there. And in this day and age, you got to worry about the, the young dingalings they age and their daddies. I'm just saying. What else? Uh, Faith the girl, I like how you tried to play Miss uh, Miss uh, Kenya for dust about it, you know her trying to, I guess, apologize or whatever. Kenya, cool to you, I guess. She was like, "Ooh, I got pumpy's titties, this and that, another gone, Faith the girl. Just tell her to get the fuck out of your face." And I don't want to talk about that, bitch. We can just smile and be cordial. But as far as having a conversation like this, bitch, it's done. Okay. That was that. And then... What else happened? Let me see. What else was it? Portia's crying. Kenya's going through her stuff. But she cut it off. And that damn Savannah trip was a hot dog and ass mess. With that being said, Andy, let me have a moment with you. And bravo, because y'all going to do better about these uh, Atlanta Housewives, honey, which is your highest view show as far as I'm concerned. Why the fuck can't they go to places that the Beverly Hill hoes go to and the uh, 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 Orange County broads and Miami and the rest of that? Why they got to go to Savannah? Work that shit out. Work it out, Andy. Work it the hell out, damn it. Anywho, what else? Let me see. That's about it, y'all. We're going to move forward from here. I will tell y'all this real quick. Y'all will get a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay? And, you know, I'm going to do my best to do it that way. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Friday is the day for dirt. So if you have a news story, a news anything, anything that's going on in the news or anything like that that you want me to talk about, I want y'all to email it to me, much love from kygmail.com, post the link and all of that and leave your YouTube name so that I can give y'all a shout out, you know, for who the story came from. 
Anywho, so that's how we're going to roll from here on out. Now, let me pull this up. Because I, okay. Um, Justin, baby, you got me together on this one earlier. And shout out to my Justin. <laughs> and that's about how I was looking when I was watching your video and went and clicked on this foolishness. Anywho, let's scoot over. Okay, y'all, by now, surely y'all have seen Badass Kid and Parent falls out and pulls the chick's hair off, yada, yada, yada. Now, let me say this real quick, because I really want to know, am I the only one after watching this video felt like this shit was staged? Because I was really sitting there like, this shit can't be real. So, basically, the dude is videotaping as usual, as usual, He's videotaping, watching the child, the, the, the baby, get the grapes and shit, then tells him something, then goes up to the mama. She immediately goes off, but the little girl on the side is apparently with her too or some shit like that. She goes and says something to this child, and he was like, you doing too much. Next thing I know, he didn't call the mama a bitch, and a motherfucking hair was off. He didn't fault the mama. You got to be out your rabbit ass motherfucking man cause bitch I'd have laid you out in that damn my mother says she would have beat you with them kangas in there and I'm here to tell you that you'd have been in there with the crabs and shit produce bitch you'd have touched every wall in that motherfucking grocery and bitch you wouldn't have been going home with me walk your motherfucking ass wherever the fuck you gonna go but my thing is as you get into it and I'll put this link below but I'm sure y'all seen this already it's a dude that's in a gray sweatshirt. He seems to keep on wanting to grab the mother up and hold her. And at one point, he mugged the bitch. What business is it of yours? I'm trying to keep you from getting in trouble. Bitch, you trying to be in the motherfucking scene. And this is what made me think his shit was staged. And I swear at the end, it sounded like the little boy said, world stop. But y'all get me together on that shit. I think if this is real, the dude feminine, he's a motherfucking wreck. And shit like I can't. And the mama, honey. <clears throat> listen, she she sound like she may ha may be in, may have been from Jamaica or whatever. Now the Jamaican women that I know, honey, would have cleaned that child's clock, and he would have never got out of place like that. It wouldn't have been no disrespect like that, y'all. That makes me think this shit was staged. Because, I mean, I know kids today is going crazy and shit, but I'd have beat that motherfucker to death. And then on top of that, the little girl got it, and she's taking it between her legs like it's a motherfucking basketball and shit. At one point, the mama's fighting the child on the ground. I bet you I'd have left them motherfuckers there after I beat the fuck out of them. Or better yet, I'd have waited on the police. Yes, officer, I'm the one who knocked this motherfucking eye out. It's over there in produce. And her motherfucking arm is broke and ripped off. It's back there where you get your damn uh, bread and shit at. The fuck? Kids done lost their motherfucking minds. Mm-mm. No. Hell no. This is why I keep saying, y'all, to the parents, honey, get a hold of your children. Get a hold. They supposed to be the future. If these motherfuckers is the future, we ain't got no motherfucking future. You better try to live as long as you can, because if these kind of motherfuckers got to run the country, this bitch is going to be a wreck. And it's already a wreck. He going to grab his mama's hair and shit, girl. And, and and that's another reason why I thought the shit was stage. These motherfuckers is little. <clears throat> why did she beat the shit out of him? When she did have a hold of him, why ain't she beat the shit out of him? I'd have beat that little motherfucker to half the death in there. Mm -mm. I'd have stomped his ass in the ground. I'd have, I'd have fought his ass to where they got the beer bottles and shit and broke that motherfucker and cut him at least a hundred motherfucking times. And I mean what the fuck I just said. Her. Huh? A motherfucker come from my body and I'm taking care of you. I wish the fuck you would ever think about calling me a bitch and telling me I'm doing too much. Bitch, what you mean I'm doing too much? I'm doing too much when I'm down your motherfucking throat with my fist, bitch. That might be too much. The fuck? Ooh. Mm-mm. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh. And, oh, y'all, that made me so mad when I looked at this shit. Then I was like, is this shit kind of staged or whatever? I can't. And with that being said, I'm looking at the comments and shit on here. And y'all know in world style, it's always going to be some racist motherfuckers that fly over here. Now, you claim you hate black folks and this and that and other. But, bitch, you stay on the motherfucking site that black folks be at. 
I'm just trying to understand that. And they want to say, oh, it's a black this and that and other. Honey, no shade in this, but it's been a mini motherfucking white child that I wanted to beat the shit out of. And they mother talking about, I'm going to count to 10. I'm going to count to, bitch, I'm counting to one and I'm going to beat the motherfucking brakes off your ass. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to timeout. Fuck some timeout. That's the problem. Two years from now, that motherfucker I beat and did a motherfucking shooting at a school and killed you too, bitch. Uh-uh. Beat they motherfucking asses when it's needed. Now, folks might differ with me, but I'm telling you, these are some new motherfucking children, and these motherfuckers need their asses kicked. I'm just saying. You'd rather kick their ass than them to run up on a motherfucker like me and try me, and I'll put their motherfucking ass in the ground. This is what I'm saying. Anywho, y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think about all this shit. I'll be back in here. I got quite a few things I need to review. And for my ladies who love wigs, I got a wig coming up for y'all. Whoo. It ain't nothing nice. Absolutely gorgeous. I got a few coming up, but this one particular one is fire. I'm telling you. I'm just going to tell you right now. Anywho, y'all, so I'm out of here. I got a... Oh, Lord. I'm trying to learn this shit. Y'all don't like this damn Windows shit. This new Windows 8 shit. This some bullshit. I can't figure how to cut the computer off. And, whew, y'all, I can't. Anywho, so I'm up out of here. Sorry I wasn't on camera. Y'all, please let me know what y'all think. Leave it below. And, yes, much love is back on YouTube. I am so happy that y'all was patient with me and willing to, you know, work with me and stay around or whatever. Because I have been kind of having a hard time. I really have. But God is good. And like I said, in 2013, it's 2014, I just had to lay them down. I couldn't go no further. Whatever I was carrying, I had to give it to God. And I hope y'all did the same. You know. So, anywho, I'm out of here. Much love. Bye.